Hi hey guys, my name is Jazz Grit. I am a commercial jazz dance teacher at Pavilion Dance Southwest, and today I'm going to be teaching you a little commercial jazz routine. So the class should be between 20 and 30 minutes. It's my first time doing this, so I'm going to give it my best shot to make sure I fit the bill. Uh, in class, we're going to be doing a warm up all together and making sure that we cool down. So please, even if you start this video and you don't have time to make it the whole way through, make sure you do a nice cool down for yourself before you finish. Okay. Uh, if you've got any injuries or any niggles or if there's something hazardous in the space, please make sure you remove it or you take your take it nice and easy for your own body. Okay. Uh, it's not worth doing anything in your living room that's going to injure yourself. All right, brilliant. With that being said, I hope you're ready. Let's get started with our first warm up. So, for the purpose of this, just follow along. Uh, I'm going to be doing it with you guys. Uh, so, I'll play the track nice and loud. This might be a good time for you to turn the volume up. Let's give it a go. Okay, running on the spot. So this is a cardio one for you guys. We're going to bring the hands up and keep them flexed. Stand up for some circles. Real fast. In and up. In and up. Make sure you take nice deep breaths. Get ready for jumping jacks. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Return to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn to the back. One, two, three. Five, six, turn to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. High knees. Woo! Bring those hands up. Kick at the bottoms. Circles. Backwards. Jumping jacks, ready? Five, six, seven, and one. Five, six, turn to the left. One. Turn to the back. One. Turn to the left. One. And finish that. Take deep breath. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but quarantine has made me up there. Let's go. So, something I forgot to mention at the start. Throughout this class, I'm going to be doing my best to make sure I reverse everything for you guys. So, if I let you guys know that something is to the left, that should be this way. If it's something that's to the right, that will be this way. Okay? just in case this gets reversed or mirrored at some point. All right, so the next exercise we're going to do is looking at some isolations. So some of you guys that might have done my class before will be a bit more familiar with this one. So we're starting in a wide second position, feet parallel, so your feet are pointing directly to the back or the front to the screen. And we're going to bring our arms up five, six, seven, Eight. So I've got nice flat palms directly to the screen. From here, I'm bringing my right, <laughs> no, I'm bringing my left arm in at the elbow. I'm digging that right elbow down while I bring 
my right hand in. From there, my left hand's going straight up to the ceiling, and this one's following one step behind each side. Palm open at the top, that palm stays open as the other palm faces the screen. That then changes as we repeat back to the beginning. The left elbow digs down, comes straight up, the palm open. The right hand follows behind it. From there we collect seven, eight. We take two counts to flat back forward. One, two. We take two counts to plie down. Three, four, and we come up. Five, six, wait, seven, eight. That's definitely a lie, it's not seven, eight. One, two, forward, three, four, plie, five, six, up, seven, eight, is the correct counts. So that from the top, our arms come up, seven, eight, we draw the elbow in, one, two, this other arm follows behind, three, four, that left elbow comes up to the same now, five, six, it opens up, seven, eight, we repeat from the top, one, two, this elbow comes down, three, four, that left elbow comes up, five, six, opens up, seven, eight, from there we collect into second position, one, two, we flat back forward, three, four, we take a plie, which is a bend of the knees, five, six, and we come up, seven, eight, Okay, just to check, so your flat backs, I can't believe I'm doing this on camera, there's going to be a teacher out there somewhere to correct me. From here, your teacher, <laughs> from here, your flat back, you're pulling right out the top of your head so you have a nice long spine to start standing, and you plie forward, not plie forward, you lean forward, and what you're aiming for is a position where you can see that you've got a nice flat back. So, if you can find that your flat back is a perfect 90 degrees, so that is perfect. If your flat back can extend a little bit further, for some people it might be down at this angle, then please try and test that for yourself. Make sure you can see your hands where they are and that your head isn't breaking the spine or doing any other weird positions, but is in line with the rest of your back. Okay? So, that from the top. Seven, eight, we're in. One, two, up, three, four, open, five, six to second, seven, eight, and one, two, open, three, four, up, five, six to second, seven, eight, and one, two, forward, three, four, plie, five, six, coming up, seven, eight, all right, that is the right side, okay, we'll try that on the left, all together, seven, eight, in, one, two, three, four, open, five, six, open, seven, eight, again, one, two, in, three, four, up, five, six, open, seven, eight, collect in second, for two, forwards, one, two, bend, one, two, up, one, two. So that was the second side that we just did there, okay? If you have nailed the arms and you're prepared to make it a little bit more complicated, then here is some isolations for you guys. So, with arms in second, an option for yourself is a rib isolation to the right, one, two, to the left, three, four, to the right, five, six, I tell a lie, to the left, one, two, to the right, three, four, to the left, five, six, to the right, seven, eight. From there, we'll move our rib isolation into a hip isolation. One, two, to the side, three, Four, up, five, six, open, seven, eight. We collect back into center, one, two, we lean forward, three, four, we plie the legs, five, six, we come up, seven, eight. Right side, one, two, in, three, four, up, five, six, open, seven, eight. Hips, one, two, side, three, four, up, five, six, open, seven, eight. Collect, one, two, forward, three, four, plie, five, six, up, seven, eight. Okay? So what this one should be achieving for you guys is getting used to doing different things at the same time with your brain. So you're getting used to coordinating those different body parts with some really specific isolations or really complicated coordination for yourself. So let's try it with music all together now, okay? We'll 
do it once slowly, right side, left side. Then we'll do it twice as fast, right side, left side. somewhere it's like Whoa, what just happened but you've got it on recording so give it a try over and over again go through the different parts of the video that will help you a little bit more and if you have anything you would need specific help with please drop a comment and I will have a look at it and make sure I give some more helpful tips next time around all right from there we're gonna move straight on now into our routine because my timer is already on 12 minutes which is crazy so we're going to move into the routine. I decided when I was looking through which routine to give to you guys that it would be a good idea while everyone's in quarantine to try and pick a nice, upbeat, happy song. Uh, for any of you adults, I'd imagine this will remind you of some good times uh, in some good locations, dancing with some fun people. So please take yourself back there mentally, have a good laugh, and again, before attempting this routine, just make sure that there's nothing hazardous in the space, that you're not gonna kick a chair, or um, turn over a table, or anything crazy like that. Okay, uh, right, so. Here's where it's really gonna test my ability to <laughs> copy right and left, okay? So for the purpose of this moment, hopefully I can now flip the um, footage over. So what I'm saying to you guys is what I'm actually doing. Um, so that you don't have to try and reverse, I don't have to try and reverse. Let's give it a try. So starting off, we're stepping the right foot forward and we're drawing that left leg over the top while at the same time we point our right arm and step. That's the very first move, <laughs> so it's really complicated to reverse. We step on the right foot and lie not forward, sideways, and we draw the right arm across and that left foot over to step. Okay? So all together, nice and quick, that goes and one, step. Hmm. Okay, so we step on the right foot, one, two. I'm just completely blanked on what the next part of the exercise is. Give me one second. Right. So, Madison Avenue. We step, you. We step there and we come forward and me. So stepping on the right foot, you step and me. So from this, breaking it down nice and smoothly, stepping over, from there we're putting the weight onto the left foot so that we can swap hands. My left hand comes forward and my right foot comes back and I lean back onto that right foot. Flat foot or on the ball of your foot, absolutely up to you. We have you, step, and me. From there, she says, she says, we had an opportunity. So we're going over. You, step, and me. We crossed the arms. We had 
Our head goes over the top, and up, over again, earth tune, into the middle, we push the weight into the center to bevel this right foot and bounce into that hip. Okay? From the top. You, ah, that's why, I tell a lie. You never step on that right foot. This left foot just comes over. You, step, and me. We had an opportunity. Okay. Six, seven, left foot over one. Step, and two. Step, cross, and, and head, and head, and hip. Then we have one extra bounce. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Gonna regret that later. All right, so let's try that much of music. Just so you guys can get a feel for what's happening. Five, six, seven, and. I tell the complete that, what's happening? Give me one second. Those who do my class often know I do this quite a lot. Just throw myself at the first move, don't know what's going First move a little bit. So, boom, 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 boom. we're going to step you, step, and me, which I think is the first version I showed you guys. So, good news, you learned it correctly the first time. So, we're stepping onto the right foot, you, step, and me, cross, drop, and head, and head, and center, bounce. Okay, six, seven, eight. You, step, and me, cross down, head, head, and center, bounce, five, six, seven, eight, you, step, and me, cross down, head, head, and center, bounce, okay, now let's try a little bit faster, it's quite a speedy track, five, six, seven, eight, you, step, and me, cross down, head, head, and center, bounce, okay, let's try that much of music. One. One. Five, six, seven, eight. Step and turn. Cross, head, head, and bounce. For anyone that's giving this a go now and is like, whoa, that's way too fast, Jazz, don't panic. You can go on to. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the company title because this is online. So you can go on to Tube U and find Madison Avenue, don't call me baby, and there's a little wheel in the bottom corner. You can click on that and it's got different speeds. So it should have one, 0 0.75, 0 0.5. If you click on a slower speed, then you can try it to the song to a slower tempo, okay? So feel free to pause this now Jump onto that, give it a little try to a slow tempo, and we'll carry on. Let's try that one more time. Five, six, seven, and... Okay, so that's that much so far. We've only got a few more counts, we're doing alright. So, Breaking it down, we step, you, step, and me. We had head, head, and center bounce. Coming out of this bounce, out of this hip, we're stepping right, stepping left, boom, boom, boom. Step right, step left. We step back into that right corner, and our hands come up, and our hips go back towards that right corner. So, we've got to the right, 
you step and me cross down head head and center bounce step step back so we're stepping into a sort of four point square right this is a funk styles move so we're stepping our right foot forward into the right corner boom hips leading stepping into the left corner hips leading boom stepping back into the right corner of our box hips go back arms come up okay six seven and you step and me cross down head head and center bounce corner corner back from here we do similar to what we've just done cross down but this time our body goes front back and back and front shoulder shoulder drop so that little bit there we've stepped right left back and down backwards forwards shoulders go left right left and that final left I'm sinking into this right hip popping there so I get a little bit of bounce beveling this left foot here okay five six seven and you step and <laughs> so five six seven eight you step and me cross down and <laughs> getting all muddled now six seven eight you step and me cross down head head and center bounce corner corner back weight and cross and back and forward do, do, do. so this track has a really nice do, 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 which is what we're hitting here so we've gone back forward do, 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 and that's what we're catching with that last bit let's just try that much a little bit faster five six seven eight you step and me cross down head head and center bounce corner corner back Wait and cross and back and boom, ba -da boom. Okay, a little bit slower. Five, six, seven, eight. You step and me. We had an opportunity. Boom. Step, step, back, wait and cross. Back, back, do, do, do. Okay, let's try that much with the music. A little time check. Whoa, time goes so quickly, doesn't it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and use and me. We have anta, anta, anta. Boom, step, step, back, step. And slow it down. Six, seven, and we have an opportunity. And we can make it something we can do. Okay. Total 45 somewhere. Total 45. about not having people there to teach. I know you're there, but it's throwing me. So, give me one more sec. Let's do this right. Six, seven, There it is. All right, one more time. Six, seven, and use the tap tap. One for head, head, and set the bounce. Step, step, back. I know where I told the porcupine. So, we step over. One, step, tap, tap. And cross. Head, head, and center. We don't do two bounces. 
and centre. Step, step, back and cross. Back, forward, do do. Okay. Six, seven, eight. You step and me. We had an opportunity, but we da 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 do. Okay. From there, we'll keep going. So we're almost out of time. Da da da. From there, we push back on that left foot to circle the hips around. The hands cross, and we hit left, right. That's nice and funky for you. We're here. Dum dum dum. We step round, cross, left, right. Okay? Six, seven, and. You step and me. We had an opportunity. But we. Da 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 ba 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 da da da. Round and hip, hip. So, just to check that last bit, your left hip is pushing back to the left side, circling all the way around to the back, and then once it gets back to the front, it's going left, right. Okay? Six, seven from the top. You, step and move. We had an opportunity. But we, da da, and back and forth, da da da. Round and hip, hip. So, for the nature of today, I'm gonna have to finish the routine there. Sorry for the waffles on the in-between, but let's try that two more times with music, and then we'll do a nice cool down for ourselves. All right? <laughs> Think about those good memories. Six, seven, and. is the routine. So that's Don't Call Me Baby by Madison Avenue, okay? If, we'll move into the cool down now, but if you guys have any feedback or comments, please feel free to drop them down below. Pavilion Dance Southwest is gonna be supplying a playlist for you guys, which has all of the tracks that I've used today on it, which is just three, about to be four. But let's move into the cool down and thank you for joining me so far. Make sure you've got plenty of space, hopefully by now you do. We're going to take a deep breath in, bend the knees and stretch the arms, moving all the way to the top. The palms are going to meet in the middle and draw down to the centre of our chest. We're going to take a deep breath in and look up to the ceiling and breathe out to come back down. We're going to bend the knees, take another deep breath in, filling the lungs. This time when the palms meet, we're going to open them up and take a flat back forwards all the way down. We're going to take a breath in to look up and breathe out to come back down. From there we're going to bend the knees nice and gently and straighten. And bend and straighten. And bend the knees, this time tucking the tailbone under, pushing the hips forward to roll up. The head's the last thing to come up. We're going to take the left arm over the top Stretch it to the side. Put in this hand in opposition away from you so you feel a nice stretch here. We're going to take a deep breath in and try and look up to the ceiling. Come back and reset. Reaching the right arm across of you over to the side and stretching it out. Again, feeling a nice long stretch down here, making sure that both feet are flat on the floor. Taking a deep breath in to look up to the ceiling to increase that stretch back down and opening up. We're just going to circle the ribs to give the spine a little bit of a nice massage and let it 
shit out from those bounces and those grooves. And we're going to do the same with our hips, just to give them a nice gentle cool down. And now, did it in a weird order, but now we're going to do the head all the way around. In nice big circles. Just mirroring the head to one side, and if you'd like, you can pull this opposite arm down. Making sure that your shoulders haven't bunched up, but you're peeling those down as well. Changing sides, pulling that shoulder down. And back to centre. So, thank you very much for joining me today, guys. This was a trial session of Pavilion Dance Southwest's uh, online classes. Obviously, we've entered into some crazy times. So I really hope you guys are able to access dance in a fun way that really uh, makes you relive and enjoy it, okay? But please, as I said, leave any comments, leave any feedback, it's all absolutely welcome. And it's Iggy as you hear, just breaking into the end there. But yes, thank you very much for joining me guys. Have a good day, bye.